bioresins, other green technology. This is a hot subject, Phil. There's, there, 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 there's lots of people developing these products out there. Um, I assume you guys are getting involved. Um, what you got? What have we got? We got a, a fourth product in the range, which is called Ampro Bio. Um, we've got a few other products and we'll talk about them all individually, but this sort of covers where we are. Um, this is a hand laminating system uh, currently for uh, it, ha it has a um, there we go. There's a, there's a picture there of, of the Ampro Bio. This is a product we thought why come to the market with a product that's sort of a me too to already what's out there and we look at the bio content of what's out there and we think well we, we're going to be better than that so this has got 40 percent um let's say renewable matter in it um so non um oil based so it has a uh, the highest bio content out there it's a combination of what's in the hardener and and what's in the resin so actually the standard ampro has an element of bio in it um, and the seal as you notice on the pack of the seal that also has an accredited level of bio in it um, bio resins pretty in vogue quite niche um, some people want to use them i you know why why doesn't everybody use it you know that's the sort of main thing why don't i use a bio resin all the time um, you know it's a bit like why don't i buy organic veggies in the supermarket every time well they're a bit more expensive, I think, until you get the volume out there from uh, um, everyone using bio based products, they will continue to be a bit more expensive, but uh, a very nice product. Nevertheless, nice to work with, nice to use. So, yeah, we've got the Ampro Bio in the range. I notice we're starting to get more and more requests for it out, um, out in the market and uh, it's good. But, you know, if the people that are requesting it are certainly driven by that subject. And uh, I think so. That's uh, that's good. OK. Um, uh, what about the what about the core materials? Um, uh, what have we got there? So you know, if you talk talk about bio sustainability, we all have a conscience these days, don't we? And, and we all have to have that conscience to, to to look after ourselves, our industry, and our planet. So, you know, from from Gurit today with the, with the Ampro Bio, um, we we also have a PET core, which is the only one hundred percent recycled PET core on the market. Uh, it, it's uh, it's made completely out of recycled 7-Up bottles, giving it its green uh, green uh, look there. It's an extruded product. Um, it's used massively in the wind energy market. But as we'll see into the next slide, we, we kind of complement it with everything. So you've got the Ampro Bio. Um, you can use some PET core and, and you could even take up some flax fiber, which we've gone into a partnership with um, B Comp, a Swiss company, which is uh, producing flax from natural flax plants and, and weaving, creating uh, the, the entire fabric range, actually. So unidirectionals, multi-axles, wovens. Um, so, you know, if you want to make a, a really, really solidly bio product, we, we've got the whole whole thing there. I mean, maybe we should do an entire other you know, one of these webcasts of, of, about sustainability, Simon, it's, it's a big topic, um, but but th there's a good offering there today as well. I, I, I agree. I think um, uh, probably too big a subject to get too far into today. We'll lose everyone, lose everyone after they've yeah, been listening yeah, to us yeah. for long enough. But I, I think yeah. you're right. I think in the future we might have to do something like that. At, uh, um, let's have a quick look at them, though, uh, and we're going to go back over to um, Steve and Martin back in the labs and, uh, and, and they should have some products showing for us. OK, um, so very briefly, so the Ampro, as I've seen this pop many a times now, this is just the standard Ampro product. The Ampro Bio, the only major difference with it you'll see is that is just the pure resin. So it is quite a coloured uh, product. Um, and to use this on wood, uh, pale coloured woods, you will notice a very big difference between using standard Ampro and using the Ampro uh, Bio system. The hardeners are the same. So however, this clear hardener will turn into something more of this color when you're actually laminating with it using the standard um, colored hardeners. Um, you can't do anything about the bio. The bio will always be a very burgundy rich um, color. Now, if you actually look at that, most people look at that and go, actually, that's very much varnishy color. So it's not a showstopper. It will look quite reasonable on a piece of wood, but if you want that pale finish, that may be your only downside, but it cures in the same way. As I said before, when we were talking about seal, 
it has a shorter pot life but will end up giving you slightly longer through cure to actually get a final hardened surface but um but mechanically and performance wise it's still a very good system well, thank you, Steve. I, I think it's 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 pretty cool that we've 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 got some pretty exciting um, uh, environmentally friendly objects out there. I know that the the Keridin core, the made out of recycled bottles, that uh, we have quite a lot of that going out the door already because it's a it's a like for like replacement, um, and um, and the Ampro Bio is starting to to gain some momentum now. Um, I also know the Blue Green Lot linked to the RWA are, are, are getting involved with it as well, so um, uh, we're helping along with that. So that's great to hear. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd uh, like to say thank you. We come to the end of our end of our I think here, but we're going to go back to Chris for some questions first uh, and catch up with any questions that we might have uh, missed. So, uh, Chris, have we got any more questions? Um, one that's just coming about the Ampro uh, about the bio. Uh, structurally, how does it compare to the normal bio resin as the normal Ampro resin? Is it as strong or is it um, a little? Are you making a compromise because it's bio? Um, Steve, do you want to do you want to talk about that one? Yeah, can do. Um, there's, as far as I've tested, because um, I I have been basically the person for doing most of the testing on this stuff so far. I've not seen any detriment between um, using Ampro or Ampro Bio. Um, the only difference is, as I explained, was the cure system, curing of it. It's slightly different, um, but basically they both they will both wet out. The viscosity is slightly higher, so you have to li be a little bit careful with it, um, but. No, performance wise, same as. Bring it on. <laughs> Anything else, Chris? Uh, uh, another one that's just come in uh, is is the bio feedstock a stable supply chain? Um, we've got it in now, haven't we? Um, but it's, it's something that we're starting to develop. Yeah, I mean, we have it in stock, but as for the feed, the supply chain into you guys, I mean, uh, probably one for Steve again. Are we worried about the the, the supply route of it? The, there is there is stock of it. It's, I can't tell you what's in there, unfortunately. It's a, that is secret. Um, but there is it's a renewing, repeatable source of product. Um, I wouldn't say there's an, a massive amount of it, but we're not having any issue getting hold of it, um, which does affect obviously how much we can get and the cost of it. And I take it that I mean the Ampro Bio is more expensive, so there is you know to go to a bio resin. Although Phil mentioned that actually, I think the bio content of the clear is higher than most of the other bio resins on the market. But um, presumably it's more expensive because those materials are not being widely used. If we all start using more of it, do, do you think the price would come down, or is it generically just more expensive raw materials? Um, I think it's not particularly locally sourced, so okay. that doesn't really help. So. Um, it's it's not that there isn't enough of it at the moment. It's just without. It's one of those things. That the more that people are using, yes, the more the price will come down. But okay. well, it's all down to guaranteeing supply chain first. We were in there quite early with this. We should be able to tie it up. Perfect. Um, any more for any more, Chris? Uh, not at the moment. But I'm uh, I'm going to stay on for the next twenty minutes or so. So if people want to write out their questions and send them over, we'll we'll work our way through them. Perfect. Well, I'd like to thank everyone so much for joining us um, and um